Well, I got a lot of a lot of work to do. Got to get uh, Don's podcast up on the feed, and I'm going to show you guys how that's done today. Uh, it is Thursday, which means I need to get Don's podcast ready for the feed. And I'm going to show you guys today uh, how I prep the life with Don Smith to go up on our podcast feed. So this is the uh, podcast Dropbox folder that we have that has everyone's um, stuff for all their shows. So all these ones with the little person on them are the ones that are shared with the different hosts so that they're able to access it. They're able to drop it, the show into their folder in Dropbox and then it goes straight to my computer. So we're going to be dealing with the life today. So you can see we've got, I need to clear some of these out actually, but you can see sort of by date modified, we've got the newest episode. So that's the one that we're going to be working with today. I do all of my producing and prep work using Acid, which was a program that used to be owned by Sony and is now owned by Magix. So this is something I was working on the other day. Um, I need to start a new document here. And we're just simply going to take the folder, or the file rather, out of the folder and drag and drop it right here into Acid. And now it's going to check all the peaks and process the volume levels for the whole clip. Make it bigger so that it's easier to see and work with. Now while that's going, what I'm going to do is go into the promos folder. Um, we've got a couple different promo folders. So these are the ones that we've had for a while that we've used. Um, there was one for a show with Mark Shalafu. There was one for my film premiere there, Saltwater Gaming, which is an old show of ours, a Valentine's Day show. But most of these are just generic promos that we use with each of the shows. Now, I've also started making new ones, and those are here in this 2018 folder. So this is a new one for my show and a new one for the bookseller called It Feels Good. That's a reference to a clip in the promo so I know which promo specifically I'm dealing with. So I'm going to be going in and out of these folders here while I'm checking the episode. Now, ordin ordinarily, I would have the audio going through my Scarlett 2i4, um, which goes into my headphones straight over here, but so you guys are able to hear it, I've changed the audio output to the speakers that are built into my monitor. We'll just make sure that the speakers are working. Alright, cool, so we can hear that just fine. So, Acid tends to default the volume at negative six decibels just to kind of help offset the loudness obviously you can see here there's going to be some peaking because this is a live radio broadcast so the volume levels are a little bit off but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to crank that up to even decibels here um just so i can get a better idea for what the sound's going to be like so you can see how for the most part there it was kind of hovering around this number six and that's really what we want to go for, for optimum podcast sound. Now, it's not going to be consistent like that throughout the entire show because everyone speaks at different uh, volumes. But we'll try our best to make sure that the loudest parts don't go above that six. Now, Don's show has a lengthy uh, introduction when it broadcasts over the actual radio, uh, where with some disclaimers and things like that, that we tend to cut out before it goes on the Eventide feed because uh, the information doesn't really apply. It's a little bit outdated and we don't want to make the mistake of making people think that we're associated with Right State Radio because we're not. We simply just rebroadcast the recorded episode. So this is right about where the intro uh, usually stops. So I'm going to listen just to make sure, but then I'm going to clip everything beforehand to edit that out. So let's just check here. This show has been on the air for over three and a half years, and I haven't gotten nearly my fair share. So we're still a little early yet. So right here, I can tell where this big wave is because I'm familiar with Don's show. I know that this is the ending to the theme song he uses, which is a song by the band Pottersfield. Enjoy. So 
So I'm going to clip that to make it a little bit cleaner and uh, then we'll get the rest of the show started. So I've clipped the beginning off the show. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that this sounds clean. That sounds pretty clean to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back it all the way up to the beginning. Whoops, forgot to hit stop. So now we've got it backed up all the way to the beginning. And so just to offset it a little bit so it's not quite too jarring, I'm going to create a small fade at the beginning. Um, about... I want to get to about two seconds, maybe one or two seconds, and that's where I want to have the fade be. So there's two seconds right there. So that's where I'm going to get the fade up to, and it won't sound quite as jarring. All right. That sounds pretty good. So now what I'm essentially going to do is go through and listen to, kind of skim through the episode, just making sure levels sound good and uh, things like that. And then there, we'll get to the next part of editing that I need to do. Here's this week's comedy rundown brought to you by the legendary Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street. So Don does a thing on his show every week called the Comedy Rundown where he lists all the comedy shows going on in Dayton that week. The problem is when he does this show, it's on a Tuesday. We're not airing the rebroadcast until Friday. So a lot of the information in this is going to be outdated. So we're just going to cut out that segment altogether. So what I need to do is find out where, now it's usually, I know where to look for it because this is where he has one of his musical breaks, and I know it's usually right before the first musical break, so what I'm going to do is, since this is right before it starts, here's this week's comedy rundown, bro. I'm going to cut right there and create a split. Now, what I'm going to do is, because of uh, the fact that we show the, sh uh, we put the show on YouTube as well. We've had some issues with having the music included, where we've had some copyright uh, flags. Also, in terms of just saving time and, and saving us on upload speeds and things like that, we're going to cut out the musical break as well. So I'm going to get to where the end of the song is and hear what comes next. Oh, there's a reason. There. So that's him going into the promo. So what I'm going to do is put another cut right there so now zooming out i have cut out the musical break and i've also cut out the comedy rundown which is what i want to do so those are out now so now i can move this a little bit closer now also to make it clear there's a transition going on since this is where the last part of the conversation is held cutting out some of the administration's inflated budget anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to then fade that out by a little bit. So now we listen to it. Say we're not going to recognize this anymore. It's too costly. <laughs> because that makes more sense than cutting out some of the administration's inflated budget. Anyway. So that'll sound, that'll let the person listening to the show know that there's about to be some kind of transition. So something else I noticed is that the next promo that he has airing is actually an old promo. There's a reason they call them Lazy Sunday. If you've listened to any of the shows before, you know that that's actually a promo for the bookseller, but that promo is actually outdated. The promo advertises the bookseller as being on Sundays, and we've actually moved it to Mondays. So now what I need to do is find where this promo begins and ends and edit that out. So if we go to right about here, where it's a quiet promo. So if we go to right about here. But what book should that be? Well, every Sunday, Eventide brings you... So we're still in the promo. I have a loud voice. So I want to get to right about here. By Eventide Entertainment. Are you been staring over? So that's clearly the end of the promo and then going into some sound bite that Don uses uh, at the beginning, uh, coming back from the break in his show. So right now, right there, I've created another split and I'm going to cut that promo out. But I still want to get a promo in there. So I'm going to go to the new promos and drop in the new bookseller promo. I'm going to drop that right there. So as we've already got this great fade out going, I'm going to go right here to just where the clip ends to get a nice transition going. Let's see how that sounds. Because that makes more sense than cutting out some of the administration's inflated budget. Anyway. 
Oprah's Book of the Month Club. So that's kind of quiet because the promo is a little down low again. Again, it defaults to minus six decibels. So I'm going to bump that back up to zero and we'll see how it sounds. Because that makes more sense than cutting out some of the administration's inflated budget. Anyway, Oprah's Book of the Month Club. That's better. Please, we've got something much better in store for you. Let's talk about... So now we've got that promo in there, and that's what we wanted to get. We wanted to still promote the same show, uh, but get the updated promo in there. So now we'll just go in, and I'm going to put a little, just a slight fade on this clip here. Since there's a fade out on the promo, and again, I want to get a little bit of an overlap. There's an instrumental hover here, so let's see how that transition sounds. Go to play. By Eventide Entertainment. Now you've been staring over that edge for hours. That sounds a lot better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the rest of the show, find where there's other musical breaks, like there's one right there. I can tell by the way the waveform is set. And also other promo breaks. There's a lengthy section right about in here where Don breaks up his show, goes to the bathroom, things like that. And there's a couple minutes of generic right state promos. I want to cut those out and replace them with even tied promos. And then I'll go through and sound check the rest of the show. So Don's show is a two-hour radio show that he breaks up into two one-hour segments. And when he gets to the end of the first hour, he'll do a bit of a sign-off and go into a lengthy promo break using promos for right state things. So the trick is to find where that promo break is. Oh, holy shnikes. All right, we'll be back here shortly. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, Einstein, let's think about this. Do you really think you're... So that's the start right there of where the right state promos go. So I'm going to create a split right there because I'm not going to air any of those. Now, this is quite lengthy. This waveform right here tells me this is all promos and stuff. That sounds like a comedy bit uh, sound bite that Don probably uses. I see where there's this black line right there. That tells me there's some kind of split in the audio right there. Let's see what this is. Fourth service, and yet nothing will stand in your way as you listen to WWSU 106.9 FM, Fairborn Dayton, Dayton's Right Choice. I didn't want anything without spamming it. So that means that right there is where we get to the start of a comedy soundbite. So now I've got this whole lengthy section here of just right state promos that I'm not going to air. So that's gone. So now what I can do is take more even tied promos, fill that space, shorten it up a bit, and get on with the rest of the show. So I kind of tightened it up a little bit, added a little bit of a fade going into the comedy bit, and dropped in the promo for my show. Uh, because I'm producing it, so I'm promoting my show. Also, I haven't had a promo for my show up until last week, so I'm kind of real proud of how it sounds. So I just want to make sure that this transition sounds good. Holy shit. All right, we'll be back here shortly. <laughs> Stay tuned. Move over, Jimmy Kimmel. Good, that sounded really clean. Brian, that sounded Austin, really clean. Bear. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check the end and make sure the end combined with this fade also sounds clean. Hey, this is Kevin Goatee with Comics Watching Comics. Brought to you by Eventide Entertainment. I didn't want anything without spamming it. Perfect. That sounds great. So now, added a little marker by accident. We can go through and see where there we have another musical break, which appears to be right here. So we'll go back here. Joke Hazard, uh, you talk a good game. We'll Ooh. be back here shortly on the life. I've been thinking of kidding. All right, so there we go to the next musical break, and it's real quick. It is real quick. So we're going to try to make sure we're not accidentally airing music that we don't have rights to. So we got that there. Like I said, that's about where the song is. Still in the song. So right there, that's what we're looking for is that fade out right there. So we're right there. We'll get a little bit of a break in and we'll split it. And we'll cut the song. So now again, since we're wanting to indicate that there's a transition going on and not going directly into a song, I'm going to create a bit of a fade out. We'll go about that far back. We'll see how this sounds. It might be a little bit too much. <laughs> Counterbalance. So here's some choke hazard. Uh, you talk a good game. We'll be back here shortly on the line. Okay. So that sounds pretty good. So now what I want to do is I want to check after that musical break to see if we go into a promo or not. 
And we do. That is the start of the promo for the drive-in, which is one of our shows. So I'm not going to worry about adding anything else in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that this sets up cleanly. And you see when we did that, there's a bit of an overlay. i got to zoom in some more to where it's just a tad bit more even. Right about there is what we want. So let's see how that sounds. Moving back here shortly on the line. Perfect. That sounds great. So now we just got to go check through the last little chunk of the show, and uh, we should be good. All right, so now we're getting towards the end of the show, and Don also does an outro to his show the same way he does the intro, but his outro is actually pretty generic. It doesn't really talk too much about Wright State, and uh, all it really does is just promote that this is on Eventide once again. So I'm not going to worry about cutting out the outro. So here I see where his song does a bit of a fade out. So what I'm actually going to do is just to make it sound a little bit more clean, I'm going to go to about this far back, and we're going to see how this sounds. For all your upcoming shows. Good, that sounds nice and clean. So now when I zoom out and look at his show as a whole, you can see it's a lot of blue, a couple little promos here, but since he puts most of the promos in his own show, anyway, that's about what it's going to look like. Now, other shows might look a bit differently. My show, if you ever see me produce it, which I might do uh, for another vlog, is just a cascading wall of layers because of how much editing I do in my show. But this is how Don's works. And so now I'm going to get this sucker saved. So the first thing I always do is save a project file before I render it. I, I want to make sure that I have plenty of backup. So Eventide has its own. Go in there. The life with Don Smith. And so with his show, I always just save it as the life and then the date. So because that's how he sends it to me. So this is from 6.5. So we'll just put life 06 05 2018 month day year and it's saved so we're good there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to render the file I render as mp3s and 320 kbps cd transparent audio that's the highest quality audio that you can get so we'll go to eventide we'll go back to podcasts Don Smith and now we're going to render it under the same name as an mp3 it's a longer file so it'll take a little bit longer so while it's doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and pull up Chrome, go to our Spreaker control board, and start prepping the show. So this is our Spreaker dashboard that we see when we're creating the shows. This is all the shows we have listed or have ever used. Eventide News was an idea that we had at the very beginning. Uh, we only did two episodes of it. Nerd Versus was a show that Robert had for a while. And then Saltwater Gaming, which just recently ended. The rest of our shows are still current. And we're going to be uploading to the Life with Don Smith, so that's the one I'm going to go enter. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to open up his show's actual page in a new tab and go to the last episode, and you'll understand why in a minute. So now that the show is done rendering, what we're going to do is we're going to upload the file. So we'll go to... Smith, and there's the newest one. So we'll get that one going. So now it's starting to upload. So what I want to do is go ahead and prep all the info that I can. And that's the reason why I pulled open last week's episode. Is first I want to reference what the episode numbers are going to be. Now Don's show is a little unique. It's two episodes in one. So last week was 133 and 134. This week will be 135 and 136. Also, all of our shows have kind of this formatted footer in the descriptions that show the Eventide sites and the sites and links for the show. Also with Don's, we've got the original air date listed at all times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this up to here. And that is going to go in the description for me to now modify. So this show actually aired on June 5th. The rest of this can stay the same, 
But now I'm going to type some kind of funny and creative introduction based on who the guests were. So I've got the description all written up. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the URL. So I actually have a formula I use for everyone's URL. That it's a little bit different for each one, but I always type EE for Eventide Entertainment, then the initials of the show. So TL the life. Delete the name of the show. And then what I usually do is try to have some kind of identifier for the show based on how it's structured. So Don's are always done by uh, date as well as two episode numbers. So you can see here, I just do the date. Because trying to put a whole bunch of other episode numbers in there it gets a little bit too long and too confusing. If you were to look at my show, it would say, um, oops, it goofed a little bit on me. Let's try that again. E dash. There we go. So mine would say EE, -E, and then, oops, for some reason it, it like changed itself. That's weird. So anyway, mine would say EE, -E, then MTF, and then mine say, S2 for season two, then the episode number, and that's usually where I leave it. Now we gotta do the title. Now Spreaker hates the way we do the title, but since we've got a whole network of shows, we try to make sure they're as set apart as possible. So we always type the show name in all caps. Then we do the episode number. So this is 135 and 136. This one handed and it's, it's a little bit harder. So, um, Spreaker hates that we put the show title in there and that we do it in all caps, but it's the only way to really make sure that when it goes to the iTunes feed, that it's clearly distinguished from the rest of the episodes. So now what I'm going to do is type in all the guest names. All right. So I got the whole episode title done. I've got the permalink set up. So that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and add in a whole bunch of tags. So boom, all my tags are in there. Uh, they don't, this is a college radio station, so I don't have to worry about the explicit thing. This makes sure that everything goes straight to the Apple podcast feed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my auto share. So as soon as the episode gets published, it will auto share to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, Tumblr, and our shows are also on iHeartRadio. Now it's still uploading, but I can go ahead and save all this so that it's in the system. Once it's done uploading, I'll be able to, oh, I'm not sure why it did that. Why did it? There we go. For some reason, it that was weird. Anyway, computers, right? So once it's done uploading, I'll be able to schedule it for release on Friday. So I just realized that uh, while I was showing you guys the files uploading, there's a folder in the Eventide hard drive called Prawns. That is not what you think it is. It's actually a video project that I've been working on, which doesn't make it sound any better. But it's not what you think it is. I I, I promise. I am not that obvious. All right, so now that the upload is completed, I got this publish later option down here. So I'm gonna hit that. Today is the seventh, so I'm gonna make sure it goes for tomorrow, the eighth, and we drop all of our stuff at 8 a.m. So it's all set to go, everything's ready. I hit save and schedule. Yes, and that's it. So there you go. That is how I prep the life with Don Smith to go up on the Eventide podcast feed. And it's pretty much the same process for all the podcasts, except for mine, because I actually produce mine 100%, and it's really complicated. And I'll show you guys how that uh, how that works at some point in the future. But in the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you next time.